the man in charge of the project to bring a multi-billion pound theme park to North Kent has insisted it will be ready within four years, despite the added complications of the coronavirus pandemic. Pierre-Yves Gerbeau, who became well known for his role in turning round the fortunes of the troubled Millennium Dome in 2000, has been drafted in after the plans for the Swanscombe Peninsula stalled. Simon Jones reports. A trip on the Thames for the man seen as the saviour of the Millennium Dome after it opened to dire reviews. 20 years on, a new challenge. Pierre-Yves Gerbeau is now setting his sights on the Swanscombe Peninsula. He says he can transform it into this, a £2.5 billion theme park welcoming 4 million visitors in its first year. It's a game changer uh, and this is, I think, for what has been a terrible time for all of us and having had Covid, I can tell you it was not fun. Uh, we hope to bring a bit of, of pride, hope and, and, you know, become a kind of symbol for Kent and UK PLC to be right up there with the big boys. The London resort is set to be 535 acres. That's the size of 136 Wembley stadiums. Those behind the project say it could create 30,000 jobs in the wider community. Well, if you think you've heard about the idea for a theme park here before, you wouldn't be wrong. It was first mooted back in 2012, with the aim of opening it in 2019. That hasn't happened, but the new target date is four years' time. Mr Gerbeau says what he learned at the Dome will serve him well. All these massive investments have obviously hiccups and difficulties. Um, we're in a good place. Uh, the good news is that's what we do for a living. We're, you know, we're mechanics, we fix things. The theme park is just one part of a new vision for the Thames Estuary in what's being billed as the UK's number one opportunity for economic growth. People will have seen a lot of plans over the years and wonder, where are they? Are you actually going to deliver this time? You know what? Yes, we are. And one of the reasons behind that is because I think for the first time, it's almost like a moment in time, the politicians, businesses and government have come together as one whole single unified voice. I said earlier, you couldn't get a cigarette paper between our board members. This is being described as the start of a journey, but with the added challenges of Brexit and coronavirus, it may not be all plain sailing. Simon Jones, BBC South East Today, on the Thames. The Labour Party has tonight...